getting married. Congratulations! Hello guys, you're welcome to yet another episode of Movie Reviews brought to you by Business Day. My name is Linda. Today we're talking about a Nigerian movie called Divorce is Not Allowed. Since when does cooking and running errands make someone a perfect wife? I will never be the devil! What are you talking about? Of course you're the devil! What are you saying you're not the devil? You're the devil! Baby, don't come and drive me because I don't want that! See what I gotta go through. That is why I used to like what? People feel. Don't get a Yeah! They cannot take me my husband. You sure? My husband's money, they want to. Bam! As the name entails, it talks about three families who were going through difficult times in their marriages and were at the verge of having a divorce. You need to see the movie to see how they were able to manage, pull through, and still remain together in marriage. There's no way that came from. Seriously? So, this movie was produced by Mark and Zoroni, which is a which was really a very good movie. Quantum Leap from this first movie that was produced in 2016 called Brother Jeku. Mike actually did take his time this um, in this movie. He did put a lot into the movie so the cast was good, location was better, the crew really good and each family actually did put in their best to make it look really quite real. So a peek into the movie. So the movie started in telling us stories about their marriages. So it was more like a narrative movie where you had Mike, who was in the first marriage with his wife called Tara. You had Rotini, who was married to Kendi. And then you also had Bolani Niwola, who, is, um, who was known as Chooks, who was married to Ego. These three men had difficult problems in their marriages, but were able to pull through. So Mike was married and his wife, who later became a Christian, changed totally and was doing things differently, which he didn't like. It made him go out to cheat with another lady. But in the end, he came to his senses and they were able to still put together everything and manage their marriage. Um, for Bolanle, who was also known as Chuk, he was married to a lady who was absolutely different from who he was and he felt like she was a disgrace to his marriage. At the end, he found out that there were still things that made her unique and different and he still managed to amend the marriage and they stayed together. There were quite a number of lessons from this movie and then the lessons that Nobody's perfect. You also have to learn to manage your partner. You also have to learn to understand that people are different and that when people change, you need to call them and then discuss with them and then find out how you can make your marriage work. It's not about going to try outside because it's not always easy with another person. And those were the lessons learned from the movie. To my verdict, I will say the movie is a 7.5 over 10, which is a good one for Mike this time as the producer. I think he should actually pay more details to the cast, to the crew, and also making sure that he has a good storyline in his movies. This movie did have a very good storyline as compared to Brother Jacob of 2016. So I think it's a good recommendation for me and I feel that people can watch it and if they do take their time, they will understand the lessons he was trying to pass across. Can I be on top for once? So for our winners, if you do want to win a free movie ticket to any of the movies that is showing now, do subscribe to our Business Day platform and please send us a message on either our Twitter handle or on Instagram at Business Day NG and the first five lucky winners will be chosen and selected to win a free movie ticket. Why can't you just appreciate any of the items? Even tell me you know what I'm thinking. I can face tomorrow. Kakati, kakati, 